The next website that I wanted to talk about was Weebly for Education. I was first introduced to drag and drop websites when I became the computer lab teacher for my elementary school. Before then I had minimal amount of exposure to HTML websites and to be quite honest I found them time consuming and confusing. My first year of becoming a computer lab teacher our IT department switched our district's websites to drag and drop format using WordPress and I just found that so much easier to use. When I first started creating my booming business project for my fifth graders, I knew that I needed to find a great way to culminate all of their hard work at the end of the year. Knowing that we live in a technology-based society, most businesses, small and conglomerate, have websites. I thought it would be perfect for the students to take all of their hard work and use it to create a business website. As I began browsing for websites to use, I knew that I wanted to stick with a drag and drop format. While I enjoy using web WordPress for our school's website, I knew that it might be a little too advanced for my students. One day while searching, I stumbled across Weebly for Education and I fell in love with its ease of use and all that it has to offer. Keeping in mind that my intended audience for Weebly is my fifth graders, I made sure before I implemented it that I fully understood the ins and outs of the program. After doing some research, I discovered that Weebly for Education is completely free for educators. Each educator account has 40 free student accounts. Each year, those student accounts can be deleted and reloaded with your new students. It's truly an incredible site. Once I knew that the program was user-friendly and budget-friendly, I began to experiment with the different features so that I could provide my students with the best possible learning experience. The two ISTE standards that were covered using Weebly. The first one, ISTE T2B. Weebly for Education has truly allowed me to design a technology-enriched lesson in which students are actively participating and learning. The students are taking a business that they have created from the ground up and they're applying their knowledge of digital tools to design websites. It's incredible to watch their eyes light up when they are able to see what they are building. It's a great way for them to manage their time and responsibilities because they understand that what they put into it will ultimately be what they get out of it. The next standard, ISTE S1B. In every way, students are creating original works using digital tools to demonstrate their knowledge. They are constructively creating a truly digital product. It's amazing to see. So to kind of show you a little bit about Weebly for Education, I'll start out with an example that I made last year. As you can see, it has my name and my business name on it. I'm just going to click edit so we can see what I've done. And last year, my business that I chose to create was an ice cream shop and I named it The Scoop. So you can see here I'm on my edit screen. I've got my header image with my um, business name. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see that I have my logo, I have a welcome message, a flavor of the week message, and um, just letting them know that they have a chance to earn 10% off of their next order. So that's just kind of a brief little example of what I created last year. In order to begin a new Weebly site, um, Oh, hold on. Well, let's back up. <laughs> because this is my educator site, um, underneath Weebly, you can see that I have my list of sites, and then right next to that, I have my student accounts. And I have my student accounts broken up by classes, 5A, 5B, 5C. Um, last year when I did this, I only had two sections, so the 40 free accounts were enough for me. This year I have three sections, and I think we're up to almost 70 kids this year. So I needed to go ahead and buy some more accounts. The nice thing is it's, a, it's only $10 for 10 extra accounts. So you get the 40 free, and then you get 10 for 10 if you need to add more. So we'll go back into sites, and I'm just going to briefly walk you through how you can create a site. So you'll just click Add Site. And the first thing that it wants you to do is choose a theme for your website. 
They have different topics, featured online, business, portfolio, personal, events, blog, and other. And they kind of give you a little bit of a sample, what you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and click one of their templates here. Choose. And it's going to load my website template. And I think the thing that I love most about Weebly is that it's just so user friendly. It's just point blank, drag and drop, fill in the missing information, and make it your own. And that's just such a great feature to have when you're working with kids. What it's going to do first is ask you to choose a website domain. Um, what I do typically is leave this blank for my students just because these are not websites that we're going to publish publicly um, for safety reasons. So I typically skip the domain site um, information just because it's not something that we need for our project. So here we are in our example website. You can see right now that it has a, a header image up for us and that's something that I can easily change. If I click on that, you can choose Edit Background or Replace Header Layout. So I'm going to choose Edit Background and click Replace. And I can upload an image from my computer. I can search for an image, find an image that is favorited, or I can even search for an image online. Um, let's do a bakery. So I'm going to search through their images. They have professional photos. They have free photos. <laughs> I'm not sure that one would be a great one to use for my website. But you can scroll through and you can see different images that they have. I don't know what those are. <laughs> um, and I can see if there's something that I like that I would be able to use for my business. So I'm going to come up here and grab these strawberries. And it lets you add in your image. You can zoom, you can blur, you can darken, or you can add a filter. You can also move this up and down on the page based on where you want it. And then you can click save at the top. So now it's saved my new um, header image for me. I can go in and it says drag elements here. So I can go in and I can drop a title. Click here to edit. The students can then type in their business name. We can go in, we can change um, how the words look, bold, italic, underlined. I can make them smaller or bigger. Um, I can center them or I can put them, align them to the left or to the right. This box I am able to thought I was able to move it, but it may be just in one spot because it's the header. Then I can go and work below that. So I can start dragging and dropping elements into here. If I wanted to put a text box in here, I can do that. Again, I can highlight that. I can make that bigger, I can center it, I can then go in and drag and drop images, <clears throat> and it makes it really friendly, user friendly, because if I want to put more than one image, I just simply drop my next image next to it. and. There it goes. And it will split the screen so that each image has its own space. And then I can do an upload an image. Um, okay, we'll do it this way. <clears throat> so I can find an image of something that I want to feature. And I can go ahead and select that. And it's going to simply drop that image into my um, website. I can resize that image. 
um, you should be able to click on it and center it. <clears throat> I can go in and add another image. Again, I can resize that. Whoop, a little too small. I can center that. Um, if I want to put text in between, all I have to simply do is grab the text tool, drop it right in between, and type in the information that I want my customers to see. So it's just, it's extremely user friendly. Um, <clears throat> And the students are able to kind of culminate all of their work that they've done over the course of the year and just see everything come together in one place. They're able to put in their logos, <clears throat> they're able to add pictures, they're able to add their commercials that they've created, everything that they could possibly want, they're able to put in here. They can add slideshows, they can add buttons, they can go in and add pages, so right now I'm on a home page, I can add a service page, about page, a news page, a contact page. They can even go in and change the theme. Um, they can change the theme colors. They can change the theme, um, how we started at the first, um, the first screen. They can go in and change that if they've decided it's not something they want. They can change the fonts. Um, and it's kind of nice because if you roll your, your mouse over it, it will show you which one you're working on. So I can go in and change that font style if that's not what I want. I can go in and make that something different. And you can see that I went ahead and changed it. I can change the size. And then I can change the color as well. So there's always that feature for them too. And so that was just kind of a brief overview of all of the things that Weebly for Education can offer you. And I think that if you have older students that have been, you know, working on a year-long project or are collaborating with other students on projects, that this is a great way to just bring that project to a close. And it's just, it's a fun and interactive way for the students to see all of the hard work that they've put in throughout the year.